For months, Governor Walker and Republican legislative leaders were pretty much saying the same thing about right to work legislation in Wisconsin. It wasn't a priority. It would be a distraction, not happening anytime soon. This was Assembly Speaker Robin Voss, a supporter of right to work, on up front last year. The one thing I have learned from this last two year period with the recalls is having a contentious environment does not help the rest of the country feel good about investing in Wisconsin. But in that interview, Voss added an important caveat, saying he couldn't promise that right to work wouldn't happen at some point in the future. That future may be now. Last week, Voss's counterpart, Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald, said lawmakers would debate right to work in a matter of weeks, which raises several questions. Would an ugly political brawl over right to work hurt the governor's presidential ambitions? Would more protests, fresh images of a divided Wisconsin prove to be more than just a distraction? To Speaker Voss's point, would another showdown with organized labor chill business investment in Wisconsin? And finally, the most important question, why now for right to work? The answer is in the numbers. Republicans will have larger majorities in both houses of the legislature in January. Many believe there is no time like the present to continue their remaking of Wisconsin. And they've also taken note of something the governor has been careful not to say, that he would veto right to work legislation if it reached his desk. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Mike Goucher, and I'll see you again next week on Upfront. You can see today's program on our website. Just click on the Upfront section of WISN.com.